Welcome to the underground, you rebel scum. This is the American Expat. How's your Saturday going? Hopefully it's going well for you. I know mine has been kind of a lazy one. Well, not really lazy. There's always chores to do. But I've been uh, noticing something on the internet with these online commentators. People like myself, except not like me, because I never feel like I'm an expert at anything. But you, you see these people, and they'll be commenting on, let's say, video games or something like that in, in a negative way. Not uh, not the people that play video games and comment on the game, but people that are critical of those who would play video games and waste such time or something like that. Not specifically about video games. That's uh, just one particular area. But you know what I mean. They sound like they're an expert. They know everything there is about this subject, and they could not possibly be wrong. And I... Uh, I find that remarkable. They also get a lot of views. Maybe that's the key. You just need to sound really bitter and angry and like you know what you are talking about and couldn't possibly be wrong. We're going to talk about that coming up in just a second, so stick around. Whoa! Thanks for sticking with us. As always, I am not an expert, and I'm often wrong. And I admit to that because, uh, well, I'm, it, it doesn't really affect my, my self-esteem or anything if I happen to be wrong about a subject. If I'm commenting on something and somebody comes along with a different opinion and I listen to it, and I'm like, oh, hey, well, you know, I think I'm wrong about that. I'm willing to accept that. I don't have to be bitter or, you know, be like, I'm the ultimate source of truth and that's where I stand. I'm talking about people like Matt Walsh on, uh, you know, the, the Daily Wire people. You get it on all ends, you know. So they just come across so, how would I say, arrogant? And I don't know Matt Walsh, obviously, personally. It, it's, it's a weird thing because he reminds me a lot of my uncle that I, I spent a lot of time around when I was a kid, except like a really mean sort of version of him. See, that uncle was really cool and nice, uh, laid back kind of guy. So if you can imagine like Matt Walsh, but uh, not like that, you know, more like just into cars and stuff and having fun fishing. I'm sure that Matt Walsh likes to go fishing and maybe he likes cars, but he just comes across as being very uh, stick in the mud kind of guy. And again, maybe that is because I don't know Matt Walsh, but whenever I hear him speak, it's like, wow, oh, man, this guy, it sounds like the kind of person you'd never want to be in an argument with. Because whether you're right or he's right or they're wrong or whatever, you're going to feel like you were wrong and you're going to feel miserable forever having brought up the subject, whatever it happens to be. I remember the other day I heard him talking about video games, which, by the way, I, I mentioned briefly, how's your Saturday going? Hopefully you're doing well. Mine has been somewhat lazy, except I, I went out, you know, and cut the grass after picking up the remnants of my son's playhouse. And, uh, yeah, that sort of thing on a Saturday. Most of it has just been, by the way, playing video games, which is how this came up in my mind. Playing video games with my son, just enjoying the time. I hope you guys are taking the time to enjoy with your family, if you've got family around, or just taking it easy on a Saturday. For a lot of people, Saturday is their favorite day of the whole week. For me, it's Friday. I, I don't know. Saturday's great. I mean, it's, we'll, we'll call it like the second best day. But Friday, you know, that's the day when you really look forward to it. Like, I'm going to get off work. And then I don't have to worry about getting up early the next day to go to work. And I can just, you know, ha hang out with my friends or whatever. I haven't been able to do much of that in a long time. But uh, Friday was always the best day. Sunday, a lot of people would say Sunday. But no. Nah, that, as a kid, that was the day when you had to get up to go to church, and that was not very fun because, yeah, church was three hours long, and uh, <laughs> you can just imagine, uh, you know, and later on in life, you know, that church thing. I, I remember one Sunday I spent seven hours sitting in church meetings. That's not something you ever want to do. I don't care how religious you are. 
that uh, you'll get burned out pretty quick doing that. But anyway, that's beside the point. Yes, going back to this uh, Matt Walsh, he's not the only one. Every time I see somebody on the internet who has a lot of people who listen to them, well, okay, there, there's an exception. Jeremy at the quartering, he seems like the kind of guy that's almost half goofing around, you know, which makes it all the more entertaining to watch because it's just like, okay, whatever. But, um, and this is nothing against Tim Pool or any of the others, you know, because I watch and I enjoy listening to what they have to say, but it does come across that way. Like, oh, I know the answer. This is the truth. And, you know, you're going to listen to it and I'm right, whether you like it or not. I'm sure that they're not like that in real life. And again, like I said, I, I listen to ev almost every single uh, video that he puts out. So it's not like I... I believe that he's some bad guy or something, but you know what I mean? They come across as like they're, they're right. And maybe that's the key to it. Another one that's uh, penguin Z zero. I'm not sure how you say his thing, but he's really, really big on YouTube and he gets on there talking, you know, and he looks like the kind of guy that you would go and hang out with, you know, play video games and that sort of thing. But he seems so serious. Everything is so serious. And I keep seeing the, I don't know why, but YouTube has started feeding me some different stuff when I get on there. And um, I appreciate that because for a long time, it didn't give me anything of interest, nothing new. Everything was the same old, same old. But now I, I finally discovered this guy, you know, and he's on there and he, he'll talk about different people. Apparently some YouTubers have come, come up against him and been uh, crushed against the rocks or whatever of the shores of Penguin Zero. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, when he talks, it's like this so serious. I don't know. Uh, that, that, but he's got all the views. Whatever subject he's talking about, it's, let me tell you what it is here. You know, really serious kind of stuff. And I'm starting to think that maybe that's when. No, I, I couldn't do it. See, I just don't see myself in that position to be able to pull it off, to speak with such authority on any subject even the things that i feel like i could be authoritative on you know like being an expat or uh let's say the uh the church that i was a part of for a long time i i don't feel like i could be authoritative somebody's going to come up with something that i don't know you know and maybe i could be like uh, well i know what it's like to live in china but then there are people that i know are much bigger experts on that like when i was living there right i lived there for a while I feel like I know what it's like to be in China. Then I met this guy from France who had lived in the place, in the city where I was at since 1985. And it's like, wow, <laughs> this is a small place right now. And uh, you're telling me you've been here since, I can't imagine what it was like in 1985. Yeah, he'd been living there all that time. He was totally entrenched in uh, everything there to the point where he was working for the Chinese television putting videos together i went to this uh this business thing where they had all these uh they it was like uh people that had businesses that are foreigners and you know chinese people would come back into china from abroad and started businesses and he was there and he gave this big presentation he had a couple of businesses i guess he had like a, a chocolate shop and then he did film stuff but he was talking about drones and all this new technology that the government was putting together. I thought, huh, wow, you know, you think you, you know a place, but and you think you're an expert on something, and then you encounter somebody who's more of an expert. I wonder if that happens with these people. I feel like uh, with Matt Walsh when he was talking about video games once upon a time, there's definitely people that are much bigger experts when it comes. Well, I don't know. Maybe Matt Walsh has been playing. He seems like someone who's older. I don't know how old Matt Walsh is, but he's probably the same, uh, similar age to me, maybe a little bit older. Maybe even he's definitely, he couldn't be younger than me, but uh, you know what I mean? You get talking about that, but even though I know he's not an expert on video game culture or any of that, he still comes across and I, I know that people listen to it and they uh, they believe it they accept it because he just comes across that way as though he is some kind of an expert i wonder if any of you have noticed that too you get on the internet and you listen to people and they're they're coming across as some kind of an expert like i know what i'm talking about it'd be like uh, for a lot of you who listen to the channel you're into prep stuff it'd be like if i suddenly started sounding authoritative on subjects that have to do with prepper stuff I, I will not be, and I, I mean, I know how to survive outside if I had to, but I'm not going to come across and pretend like I'm any kind of an expert when it comes to prepper stuff. Be like, this is what you got to do. If uh, you want to have water in this situation, 
I, I have no idea what to do. <laughs> we should have well established that by now, but you see what I mean. But uh, maybe that's my downfall. Maybe I should pretend to be an expert when I talk, and then people will just accept it, even though I'm full of it. Um, but I just can't bring myself to do it. I don't know. You guys will have to let me know what you think. Is it better to sound and like to pretend you're the expert, you know what you're talking about, even though you're full of it? Or is it better just to say, hey, I have no idea what I'm talking about on any subject. Um, I'm just uh, making my way through. Hmm. That, that, that doesn't sound good to me either. You should be you should know something about every subject. I, I don't know. Maybe I just feel like even the things that I know, as I mentioned before. I can't pretend to be the ultimate expert, and I'm not going to sit here and preach to anybody about anything, but those are the people that do well. I'll leave it at that. Hopefully you're having a great Saturday again, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.